Now here's another problem dealing with a pattern. Determine whether the fact the values in the table belong to an exponential function, a logarithmic function, a linear function, or a quadratic function. Again, we're going to be looking at a table of values and trying to establish the pattern that we recognize as one of the four types of functions that we are given. We can see that our y values are increasing by 1 as we move down the table. Our x values, you may note, well, let's just leave that one third off for a moment. Let's just look at the other numbers because they're whole numbers and easy to recognize. We see 1, then to 3, then to 9, then to 27. Do you recognize this as being powers of 3? This is 3 the 0 power, 3 the first, 3 squared, 3 cubed, and sure enough, this would be 3 to the negative 1 power. That's 1 third. So what we're seeing in our x values is a geometric sequence, while our y values are going up by 1. It turns out that if we recognize this as 3 squared, you can see that the y coordinate is giving us the 2, which is the exponent power. We recognize the 27 as 3 cubed. The y coordinate is giving us the exponent power. When our y value is equal to an exponent power, then we can recognize that as being logarithmic. And so this particular pattern would fit a logarithmic function.